Hey everybody, welcome back. We got our engine and transmission out of our Fox Body Mustang. Now this thing's backed by a C4, which was the only transmission option in 81 if you got a V8. This thing's not gonna handle the amount of power that 427 is gonna put out, so we decided to go a different route. Besides, this is a great opportunity to ditch that automatic for a manual. So we got Robert here with American Powertrain. He brought some goodies with him. Robert, what you got here? Well, these are our three most popular manual transmissions for Ford products. This is the T5, which was the quintessential Mustang transmission for about 10 years. Good transmission, good for about 300 foot-pounds of torque. So not the right transmission for everything, but uh, if that's your power range, nice box, smooth shifts. So if I go up above that, I need to go to something like this. This. So the TKO was designed to be a replacement for the T5. T5 hangs in there, though. So this is a transmission that's about the same length, has the same shifter position as the Mustang T5, but it's a 600 foot pound rated box. I noticed the input shaft's different, more splines here. Yes, so you have a larger diameter, plus it's 26 spline. So that gives you more holding power there. In the back end, same thing. We've gone up to a 31 spline input on the back for the TKO. And then this one, I know what this is. This is the Magnum, right? Yes. So we've got the Mac Daddy. The Magnum is, uh, is a mating of the 6060, which is the current production six speed. If you went out and got a GT500, you would have the 6060, but then we took the, all the benefits that you would have in the TKO that make it flexible in the aftermarket, incorporated into that. So you have different shifter positions, electronic speedo output, mechanical speedo output, 700 foot pounds, 7,000 RPM shifts. But you do have to do some other things to get this one in compared to the TKO, yes. right? Bigger trans, the, tr the mounting position's further back, so you need a new cross member. The shape of the bell is completely different the way it engages the front of the six speed than from a five speed or a four speed. So you're going to have to change the bell here. And since it's longer, completely new drive shaft. And the cross member being a different spot. Yes. So I guess we've got it narrowed down to these two since that T5 can't handle the amount of power we're gonna be making. How do I determine which one of those I go with? Well, it's actually going to be a budget call. Magnum, fantastic transmission, great power holding, good smooth shifts, but it's a more expensive gearbox and you have to buy a few more parts to put it in the car. So the TKO will save you about $1,100 and do everything you need it to. I like to hear that. So being this is a Fox body and I wanna save as much money as I can, I wanna keep budget minded throughout the build as much as possible, I think we'll go with this. Now American Powertrain has everything needed to install any of these transmissions. And Tommy's back there, he's got a bunch of different parts for our application, go check it out. Figuring out which upgraded transmission to go with, that can be the easy part. Well, trying to find all those little bitty pieces to make it all work together, that can be the hard part. But luckily for us, American Powertrain has done all that hard work for us. What we have here is a typical batch of parts that a Fox body owner switching from a T5 over to a TKO is going to need. He's going to have to change the bell to go from the T5 to the TKO. He can go with a Tremec aluminum bell, which is a direct replacement, or he can upgrade to a quick time scatter shield if he's going to be doing some racing. In addition to that, that 26 blind input is going to require new clutch disc. And along with the disc, you might as well go ahead and get a pressure plate because, you know, you're already in there. You're also going to need the stronger 31 spline yoke to engage 31 spline output shaft on the TKO. It uses the original U-joints and original drive shaft, and if you don't get quite enough yoke engagement, we have a billet spacer that goes between the rear end and the back of the drive shaft. Moving on to the pretty parts, you'll need a different lever for the inside of the car. This is one of the Finch models. Very cool billet, a couple different styles, or you can go with something more traditional, like a chrome lever and one of these white or gunmetal shift knobs. Well, that pretty much covers it if we were wanting to go with a TKO, but let's say we wanted to go with that T56 Magnum. Well, you're going to look at basically the same shopping list of parts, except for the bell housing. It's going to look very different with the six speed. It bolts up around the perimeter of the transmission. Very different style from what you'd see with the four speed or five speed. But those parts that we were talking about that you have to have with the Magnum, but not with the TKO, cross member. Magnum is longer, mounting pads further back, so we have this bolt-in, billet aluminum cross member, puts everything where it needs to be, and since it's a longer trans, different output shaft, you are going to need a new drive shaft. Well, I appreciate you coming out here and showing us some of the goodies that you guys have, but it's time for me and Mark to get busy, you know, bolting that motor and training in, see if we can even drop it in a hole. But, you wanna get out of here? Yeah. Let you follow me. <laughs> 